this is all language that I got passed a couple years ago in a special session that created this um, this need for us to be a little bit more serious about workforce development in K to K twelve as as our need continues to grow for Q computer science educated um, workforce. The second thing it does is it it requires schools, um, public high schools or charters, to offer. Um, high school, uh, computer science courses, I think it's a need uh, going forward. Arkansas did this many years ago. Uh, they have 90% of their schools offer a computer science course that's approved through the state. Our state's about 50%. It's been increasing since we passed the bill two years ago. It was, a, it was about 38%. Now it's at about 50%. So we're getting better, but we need to do a, even a better job. The third is uh, the data that comes from that. We want to make sure that we gather as much data on what, what we're training our kids to do, who's, who's in those programs, um, the, the kids that are in the programs that are participating. We want to find out as much information as we can to use um, going forward. The fourth thing it does is that it, uh, it creates a, su a computer science supervisor in the state of Missouri that kind of helps us decide on policy going forward. How are we going to educate our kids? How are we going to uh, think through the workforce development needs of, of our economy as it is currently. And then the last thing, it has higher education standards, uh, requires the, that higher ed accepts um, these computer science classes as, as a substitute for or an equivalent of a math, math science or practical arts credit. Computer science is the number one source of jobs in the country right now. And on behalf of the Missouri Chamber of Commerce and Industry, here to support the bill.